Oh, are we rolling? Well, we're going to get back to work on this uh, model very soon. Uh, a little bit earlier than the graveyard shift tonight. We got the little guy there who's full of energy and uh, not really sleeping. So it's going to be a bit before we can uh, get to any serious work. I know this isn't exactly Blender stuff, and I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, we got him going. And uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit more work on this, and I think I'm just pretty much done. I'm ready to move on to something else. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I, how I did the floor and a couple more changes, and we'll wrap things up. So I'll be right back. Yeah, so I figure while uh, while he's still on the floor and <laughs> chirping away there and feeling in good spirits, I'll just show you that this is my this is pretty much I think going to be my final render. Um, you know, I could spend more time on this with lighting and everything, and I but I mean, so much fun to do this. I'll show you some other things that I want to do, but uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've I've done the floor. Um, I've tried to be relatively true to the to the you know, original diagram, uh, which I I don't know I can show you again. You know there it is. I mean it's not the same. It's never going to be the same. But uh, but that's that's what I've done. I've done the floor. Uh, I just wanted to have a book over here. I, I'm not sure about this angle. I don't really like the isometric angle because I don't know. I just I just don't. Um, I, I like something like this better. The problem is. You can't really see that there's glass here. Maybe it doesn't matter. When I had it a bit more on, on an angle, I, you could see a bit of a reflection off it. But anyways, I put a book there. I, um, what else did I do? I changed these to a more metal. Yes, yes. A more metal texture. I don't know if I like it, but I didn't like the other material. Threw a dish on the counter. That's a that's about it. All right, so I'm I'm gonna just show you how I did the the, the floor. Um, I used uh, this for the walls. Okay, I got these three principal shaders. This one does the mortar right here. Okay, so if we look at the walls, you can see that inside there it's sort of a darkish gray. Okay, for that, and these things did the color variations uh, of the bricks, and then for the f for the floor. Uh, it was the same basic setup, but I changed the mortar color. Well, I changed the color of uh, the the bricks, essentially this. I color picked from the original diagram. So I've got this brown and this, I don't know what that is, light brown almost. All right, to, to, get, to get those and then some variations. And the mortar, as you can see, is a light color. Uh, and that gave it a less of a, of a 3D look. Right, it's almost exactly the same color, but I color picked, and then I ended up getting that, and I thought, okay, you know what, that looks that looks decent enough. The other thing I did is I put a trim down here, okay, just a piece of like a cube kind of thing. I did it on all the bottoms, because when I looked closely at the original diagram, I saw, hey, wait, I missed that there, and there are different color variations of it. Uh, and even this wall is different, uh, and it's also on the top, and I, I just didn't feel like doing it on the top. It's watered on the bottom, so that's that's what I ended up doing, and uh, that's what I I come up with. So I'll show you how I how I did the floor. I suppose I could do that. It was the same as the walls, pretty much, uh, and and then we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so I'm gonna spend a bit of time uh, with him, and we'll come back. All right, so let's give this floor a try. All right, so here we are with the floor. I'm going to select that and hit U, unwrap. I'll come over here and switch this over to a node editor. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this brick texture here. And I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to hit a sign. is the same basic setup okay uh, I'm gonna come over and open up a UV image editor on this side 
and get my picture. Where is it? Cartoons, rooms, last one. There we go. Okay, so we can color pick some of the same colors there. Cool. Okay, so we got that. All right, so what we're going to do is let's just do this. Um, first of all, let's change the scale of that. I'm going to do that. So we get a size that we like and <laughs> not influencing the rest. Let's color pick over here. Let's say this one. And actually this one. It doesn't really matter how we do this. Too similar. Let's darken that one up. Alright, anyhow. See if I can get in here. That's the basic idea. Okay, and switch this down. I think I had 0 0.5 for that. Hey, 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 hey. We have our floor. Okay, I don't want any great depth in there. Whether I need to UV unwrap it, I'm not quite sure. But that's the way I'm doing it. Okay, so that's how I did the floor. And then I changed a few things like I, I had said. So um, that really brings me, I'm done with that. I think I'm done with this. We'll shut that down. And that brings me to, back to, back to here. Okay. And so, you know, the original picture uh, was this. And I certainly took some liberties but I did what I could to, you know, have a similar idea. Um, I should show you that uh, I do have others. Uh, where, where, cartoons, rooms, that I would, I would love to do. I mean, look at that. You know, these things are just so cool. It, it just reminds me of The Sims. Uh, and so I think I'm going to do another one of these uh, sometime soon. Uh, so maybe you're interested. Look, we could use a very similar technique, you know, just change this, the size of the bricks. Light mortar, slightly darker mortar in there. We could do some squares and some tiles and model some interesting, simple, but interesting and sometimes for me challenging shapes um, I have had a lot of uh, requests or some requests anyhow for different models and 
I'll try to get to some of them, keeping in mind I'm not that skilled at, at this, um, but I'll try to do what I can for you. So thanks a lot for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. I really do appreciate it. It keeps me going on these graveyard shifts with my son, who's now sleeping, uh, and uh, as it approaches midnight and off into the wee hours of the morning when I do tend to do Blender. All right, take care.